Hey guys and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and it is 6 o'clock in the morning and I am heading to Waterton National Park to do a dive at Emerald Bay, uh, the Gertrude Ray Wreck. It's uh, famous for the local divers out here and I will be meeting Mike, uh, one of the divers I know for a while and I dove with him before at uh, the location. Uh, but the weather as uh, I am approaching uh, Waterton Park is uh, qu quite drastically changing. Let's hope we will be able to manage the dive. Uh, as I am getting closer, it's getting worse and worse, and the wind is picking up and the snow starts to fall. So let's see how it goes. So I made it to the destination, and it starts snowing pretty heavy. A little bit of waves, wind, uh, my buddy was ahead of me, but unfortunately I don't see him here yet, so I don't know if he stopped somewhere on the way. That wind is definitely cold. So this is uh, Emerald Bay, and uh, this is where we're supposed to dive today. Uh, if we can uh, get into the water, the waves are pretty big. Right on top here, there is a Prince of Wales Hotel. I gotta make a phone call now and see uh, if, if he is coming or maybe he already turned around and uh, called it uh, that it's uh, the dive is not gonna go ahead. That would suck, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so my buddy has arrived and uh, it's so cold. Uh, we are gearing up inside the truck, at least what we can, because normally once, uh, once I get my thermal on, it's bearable. Two pairs of socks. It's gonna be pretty flexible to gear up in the truck. Oh, that's the warmest part of my scuba gear. Without it, it's not possible. Built on Waterton Lake in 1927, the 165 passenger historic MV International shuttles passengers across the liquid border shimmering between Goat Hunt, Montana and Emerald Bay in Waterton Park, Alberta. Once upon a time, during the days of Alberta's so-called Blue Loss, the vessel was used as a boat festivities so people could step aboard to enjoy music, dance and drink in Montana, outside of Alberta's jurisdiction. The International is a part of the fleet manned by family owned and operated by Waterton Shoreline Cruise Company. It is the oldest operating passenger vessel in Canada. The International is a wooden ship of cedar and fir, planking on oak frames and continuously being maintained using traditional shipbuilding techniques. Below the depths of Emerald Bay lies the steam paddle wheeler Gertrude, built in 1907 of Muskingo Lake in Waterton. She was originally used as a workboat for a nearby swim mill, but eventually transitioned into a tea room and restaurant moored in Emerald Bay. In 1918, Gertrude was deliberately scuttled in the bay and now a popular destination for scuba diving enthusiasts with penchant for history.
dive next week, but I hope there's a Chinook. minutes at the water freezing minus 12 right now outside but we managed to do a three minutes uh, dive and uh, the water temperature was around three degrees uh, maybe four I'll check later when I get home on my dive computer because I wasn't paying attention really uh, I was quite fine in the water the visibility wasn't the best but it is what it is uh, it's winter and all the leaves and everything is deteriorating in the water right now. I was hoping that the weather is going to be a bit better so I can uh, film a bit more, but I can't even hold the camera. And, uh, that's how cold it is. The wind that we can hear it. It's nuts. Here I'm just outside of Waterton National Park on an uh, overview pullout uh, where you can uh, view normally beautiful mountains on a sunny day. Unfortunately today isn't the best weather as you see, there's, everything is uh, uh, blurry and fog. But uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and check out my other content and uh, view some more of my scuba diving. Thanks again for watching and till next time, cheers. <laughs>